Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Well, we'll give y'all a quick garden update. There, we got the flocks and the daisies. They're still going strong. Let me just walk y'all over here. Next year I'm gonna have to take and stake up all of these gladiolas because the winds and the rains have just pounded them down. Uh, we got this nice sunflower here that's probably close to seven foot tall. It's at least six foot something. But we got all these glads. The wind and the rain has just beat them right down. They're still flowering and everything, but yep, it's a mess. So next year, I'll take and stake them up, run some twine, and that way uh, they'll have a little support. Yeah, I got a, a mess out here, trying to do some organization, get things switched around. Got a little building project going on. The asparagus doing pretty good uh, we may have some asparagus next year down in here we got a an acorn squash coming so it looks like we're gonna have a couple of those come on here we got some a few beets in here I ain't doing too bad I don't know if we're gonna get any peppers off from these and of course those are green tail onions might get some peppers I don't know it's gonna be a late fall crop if it is of course, we took all the potatoes out of here. I don't think I'm going to plant anything else in here this year. But, look at the corn. We got some corn starting to come on. We got tassels all on it. And we do have ears of corn coming down here. You know, some more up in here. I have some bigger ones on this side, as you can see more here so it looks like we're gonna get some corn won't be a lot but this was kind of a trial I didn't know how well corn was gonna do in the raised beds the broccoli down here I planted that so it'd kind of be like a fall harvest something's eating it to death so I don't know if I'm gonna get any broccoli probably not I think it was kind of too late now my tomatoes tomatoes are just going crazy but the problem with them all of those down there all split and rotting right on the vines because of the heavy rains. We've had a lot of rain and the, what the tomatoes are doing, just reach in here and grab this one. You can see they're just splitting. Uh, they're still viable at this, at this stage. Uh, I can take that in and we can still use it, but just so many of them were just rotting right on the vine. Strawberry beds putting out a lot of runners. I'm planting a lot of these runners up on my back hill. Uh, let some strawberries take over up there. My larger onions. This is how wet it's been, guys. We got little mushrooms growing in the raised beds. So that gives you an idea of just how wet it's been. Cherry tomatoes. And I'm really starting to think that those over there, even though they said they were beefsteak tomatoes, I'm really thinking they were cherry tomatoes because they stayed small and about the same size as these cherry tomatoes right here. The green beans, the heat and the rain really taking their toll on them. Um, we're going to get another harvest of beans. There's more flowers more beans coming on we also got some bugs in here eating on them so you know i am doing this all natural but i may have to take and dust them with something peppers we got some nice peppers the bell peppers look at these guys they're just coming right on like gangbusters so you know we're definitely going to get another nice harvest I mean just a bunch of peppers and then 
We got the watermelons. You know, yep, growing watermelon in Massachusetts. Some good sized watermelons. This one here is rottening on the end. So uh, it might not make it. Got another one down there on that far end. And we got a big boy right in here. Look at the size of this one. And it's rottening on the end. Too much rain, guys. Another one right here. And it's gonna start to rot on the end. Just too much rain for them. Got a couple more right here. You know, I keep moving them, hoping that they won't rot. And these tomatoes in here. Another watermelon right there, and it's rotting on the end too. Pretty much all my zucchini rotted right on the vine. Uh, I got spaghetti squash here. Uh, this vine's about dying. Another spaghetti squash. That looks more like an acorn squash. But all the squash, that's what the zucchini did. You can see right there. But again, it's just so wet. You got these mushrooms growing in here. And where you got mushrooms, you got really damp soil. Got another nice spaghetti squash in here. This one doesn't seem to be rottening. So we might get one out of this. It looks like we may lose all of our watermelons. But then, look at these carrots, guys. And these things are starting to put on carrots. Mrs. MP picked one the other day. They're coming along quite well. The beets, they're starting to put on some nice beets. Let me get you down in here where you can see. As you can see right there, pretty good sized beet. There's another one there. So we're gonna get some beets. And I don't know about the banana peppers. They haven't started to flower yet. But I hope we get some banana peppers out of there. And as far as the cucumbers go, we have been getting a few cucumbers. There's none right now. We've been picking them. Now, yeah, I do see one cucumber over here. That's probably ready. Yep, yeah, this is a good size one right here. There's a nice cucumber. There's another smaller one right here beside it. It's not gonna get any longer than that. We'll go ahead and pick it. And uh, these tomatoes that came up wild, they're, they're getting a few tomatoes on them. But Prepper Potpourri told me that she never had any luck with these when they came up wild. They just didn't do well. And these really have not done all that well. Uh, they're getting like one or two tomatoes on them. So that's something I won't let happen next year. If any uh, come up wild. But as you can see, it's been so wet. Look at the like mold growing on the leaves of the... Uh, spaghetti squash and the cucumber just way too much moisture it's like we got another nice cucumber right here another nice one right there there's another one that's about all I see right there so you know four pretty good cucumbers but that's just a quick update those four by fours you see in the ground over there that's where I'm gonna build my little lean-to so I can put my snowblower in there and get the white carport down reclaim some of my driveway so there you go guys that's just a uh, brief little update on the garden and what's going on Will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all.